So, we're big fans of Earfun, let's just get that out of the way. But their latest release, the Earfun Air Pro SV, we've got some mixed feelings. Goedendag, we're DHRME, Dutch Hindustani, reviewing many earbuds. All right, let's start with the price. So these are about $90, but with a temporary discount, they're priced around $63. Links in the description. Look, it wouldn't be wrong here to say that Earfun have kind of shot themselves in the ears, <laughs> their Earphone Free Pro 2 and Air Pro 2 are such great products that's very hard to do better and by extension charge a higher price. So what do you get in addition to these two stellar buds? Well, what stays the same? Let's break it down uh, with a rhyme. It's been some time. Kevin commence this crime. As far as A and C, they're all kind of the same. All pretty good, just a different Christian name. Good transparency all around. Maybe the SV has the edge, but it's a question of detail. Don't go jump over a ledge. If it's quiet around you, phone calls will be a breeze. But when it's noisy or windy, you got better buds than these. We've got tests for you at the end of this vid. You can hear them for yourselves to see how they did. You got wireless charging and USB Type-C and a gaming mode with 80 milliseconds of latency and with codecs, don't expect to go crazy. All you're gonna get is good old AAC. For workouts, you get IPX5 water resistance and use left or right bud. There ain't no difference. All right, so what is different? Earfun promises better wind noise reduction with ANC, but we didn't really hear it. The Air Pro 2 are the only ones with an in-ear sensor to pause music. Let's talk about three big reasons why you shouldn't get the SV over the Air Pro 2 or the Free Pro 2. First is design. Okay, I'll admit the SV look cool in photos, but come on, there's a gap in the case. If you live in a dusty place, you're gonna have a dusty case. The rhymes are just writing themselves at this point. There's also a zero utility for this gap. The LED on the buds gets hidden away as you put it into the case. Earfun calls this aesthetics meets productivity, but yeah, it's more like holes meets poles. Now it's not just the case, these are stem style buds, but they're not flat or round. Instead, if you look closely, there are two planes. And yes, both of these planes do the touchy feely. I found it impossible to go more than 15 to 20 minutes without activating the tap unintentionally. The tap surface still does the same things the other earphones do, including volume controls. So for us, the Free Pro 2 wins for the design, but there's one more thing we'll talk about later. Second is sound. Okay, let's just put that into context. We're talking about sub $90 earbuds here, which you probably can even snag at about 60 bucks, as we said, if you catch the right deals. Uh, latest price in the description, affiliate links, no cost to you, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, for that price, these are good, but they've really turned up the base on these. Like, <laughs> Really, it gets even more accentuated with ANC turned on. Look, it's not bad woolly bass from these 10 millimeter wool composite dynamic drivers, but it's way too present in the mix and the mids do get a bit veiled. The Air Pro 2's bass can sometimes sound woollier in comparison, but the higher frequencies are more present, making the overall sound more balanced. Compared to the Free Pro 2, there's a significant presence of the mid brace frequencies as well on the SV. And that's a shame because these buzz sound pretty good otherwise and could have probably sounded great. But there's one more thing we'll talk about later. The third reason is battery life. With a maximum of just four and a half hours on bud with ANC, the SV is the worst among the three. The Free Pro 2 gives you up to five hours with ANC and the Air Pro 2 up to six. Also, when it comes to the case, the worst battery life comes from the SV. So what gives? Why would you get the SV? Well, sure, it has a slight edge in sound and transparency, but given the deficiencies we just mentioned, why would you buy it? Well, it turns out that SV has an ace up its sleeve, the all new app. The app is pretty well designed and fairly stable. A couple of times it went unresponsive while changing the noise canceling mode, but it's fine for a first attempt on both iOS and Android. So let's talk about the EQ. The EQ doesn't seem to stay on the earbuds, but is dependent on the app. So boosting the bass on Android didn't retain settings while switching to iOS and vice versa. So basically each device had its own EQ, which means you can't EQ these on a desktop, not using a first party app anyway. But how good is the EQ? Well, it's okay, but somehow we were unable to make drastic changes to the sound with the three band EQ. So don't buy these buds with the expectation of drastically changing how they sound. At best, you can tame or tweak certain frequencies. The tap controls can be customized, but only the double and triple tap. The single tap is reserved for volume and cannot be changed in the app. 
that's fine, but you cannot disable any of the taps and that's not a great thing for the touch sensitivity issues we mentioned earlier. So should you buy it? Well, maybe. Out of these, the overall pick for us is still the Free Pro 2 because of its designs, looks, fit, and just, just the whole package. The Air Pro 2 is still a decent buy with superior battery life and a different sound signature and an in-ear sensor, if that matters to you. Both of these though are a bit cheaper and don't have the app support. So the question to you, my dear friend is, what's the app worth? You've been pondering app valuations and we've been DHRME. Namaste for the tests. Namaste. Your fun Air Pro SV quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Your fun Free Pro 2 quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Your fun Air Pro 2 quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Your fun Air Pro SV noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Your fun free pro two noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Your fun Air Pro SV windy conditions. Pop up popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one two three. Pop up popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one two three. Air Fun Free Pro Two windy conditions. Pop up popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one two three. Popsicle, ice ice icicle, test test testing, one two three. Air Fun Air Pro Two, windy condition. Pop pop popsicle, ice ice icicle, one two three.